Good morning and welcome to your news update video from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. The DAX in Germany is quite weak this morning. It's all correcting. It's below 11,500 points. There's a lot of political uncertainty stemming from the Front National leader Marine Le Pen. She is uh, willing, if she will become president, um, she's willing to fire up the printing presses and create money to finance welfare, industrial strategy costs, and she also wants to repay debt. Um, there should be a new franc, a French franc, a new franc, actually a new currency, which is embedded in a basket together with other countries, and that's uh, the way how she wants to um, wants to um, have her own currency where she will have uh, somehow an autonomous uh, central bank but it will be consulted by the parliament so well not so really independent but she wants to fire up the printing presses that's what that is what she wants to do and the currency in the basket um, if you have the french franc or the franc it will be able to fluctuate 10 to 20 percent versus that basket and um, if there would be no one found um, actually willing to join that basket currency solution it will be the franc or the franc actually um, be free floating then but you can imagine that a um, French currency would rather devaluate in a scheme where the central bank is directly financing the state. And um, if that should happen and the French uh, franc should devaluate, every state debt will also devaluate. And that is a plan she also has because if the new currency, the new franc, will devaluate by, let's say, uh, 30%, that everybody who holds government debt in France, so that is the ECB, those are private investors, pension funds and so on, they will also lose 30% and that's how she wants to get rid of debt. It's by a strong haircut. So that is very, very um, adventurous, I'd say, um, what she wants to do. But that is something that, of course, is uh, somehow really um, creating uncertainty for the markets uh, for the time being. John, John Burkow, he's the speaker of the British House of Commons. Uh, he said that Trump is not allowed to speak at Westminster Hall as the British Parliament's crown is the most prestigious hall. Sexism, racism, the undermining of judges, all that is something that is um, in, in, in contrast, in stark contrast of, what, of the values that Great Britain is actually standing for. So Theresa May, or Theresa May might have been a little too fast with inviting him. She wants to still have him, but let's see what comes out of that. So for the moment, we've got a weak European um, stock market stemming from political uncertainty. And in rela relative to the European markets, the Dow Jones in uh, New York is relatively strong. But that is the only reason why it is so strong is because of deregulation and the jump we had in prices in the Dow Jones last week, just the day the deregulation was announced, um, there were, were some, some strong increases in the price of stocks like Goldman Sachs. And we know that since the election of Donald Trump, one fifth, so 20% 20, uh, 20 of the rise in the Dow Jones was just the stock of Goldman Sachs. And so we know that also last week, this jump in the Dow Jones Industrial Average is caused by deregulation and um, also, again, banking stocks going up strongly. So for the moment, uh, we've got that somehow world of two speeds, relatively strong Wall Street. Another time, once again, political uncertainty in the Eurozone.